What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Nico Scotty. And I'm back with another video, man. Listen, I know we went through a couple of things that last video, but we got to keep going. I told y'all we was going to bounce back from that L and turn it into that W. I'm going to show you how to W later, but for right now, let me show you guys how to play DeFi Kingdoms. All right? That's what this whole video is about. I felt like guys couldn't fully understand everything in that first video and I've been getting some requests about doing a little starter guide to this so without me saying much more the first thing that you want to do is open up DeFiKingdoms.com right and then you want to open up MetaMask download MetaMask put it as an extension in your Google Chrome and do the same for Harmony right so once you have these both pinned to your extensions and have them open up wallets you want to go ahead and connect them right and the way that you connect them is by opening up harmony you want to go here and you want to export your private key right once you export your private key you want to open up metamask you want to go here and you want to import your account and then once you import your account you just do that by pasting your private key and then boom then you want to go to DeFi kingdoms and click play it's going to ask you to connect to your wallet you click metamask and boom you're on the wrong network because metamask is already on the Ethereum network so then you have to connect to harmony click on connect to harmony the cool thing about DeFi is that it does it for you so it's a whole nother video if you really wanted to get the steps on how to add it manually but DeFi does it for you automatically. So, you switch to the network. This kid right here, man. All right. All right, guys. So basically, to play DeFi Kingdoms, you need to invest. This is not financial advice, but if you want to buy some Harmony One tokens, you go to harmony.one slash buy, and you need to pay a minimum of $50 in order to get some Harmony One tokens, right? So I'm not telling you how much to buy, but you invest how much ever you want to invest. And once you buy them, it will end up in both of your wallets. Once it ends up in your wallets, you go to the game and you'll end up on the map. Here, the first place that I suggest going to or that I would go to if I was just starting out as Scotty Jr., I'd go to the marketplace. In the marketplace, you have the trader, you got the druid. You got this new NPC named Vendor Zada. He's gonna be selling specific items, maybe some other NFTs that come out later in the game. And then you have Career Manual. Career Manual gives you the news in the game and the new things that's coming out and all the updates and whatnot. But let's go to the trader. Once you go to the trader, you wanna have your invested one. And this is about, let's say like $100, right? You wanna take half of that by 145. You want to turn it into the game's native token, which is Jewel. Half of that will give you 11 jewels. So let's swap that out, right? Okay, so once you swap it, you wait for the transaction to pen, and then you wait for the jewel to show up in your balance. As you can see in your balance, you have a lock balance and a total balance. We're gonna get into the lock balance in a few. Let's just wait for this transaction to pen. All right, so it finally went through. Scotty Jr. got himself 11.6 Jewel. That's worth $46, and we still have a zero lock balance. The lock balance is gonna be the balance that you receive at the end of the rollout of the game. We're gonna meet the Druid all the way over in the gardens. Let's go to the gardens. So here in the gardens, we have liquidity pools liquidity pools with the native token and other cryptocurrency coins that are also doing their thing and we're just getting the APR rate for the native token the pool that we're focused on right now is going to be the jewel one pool you see when you go to deposit it's going to ask you to add jewel one liquidity the way you do that is by creating a token so let's click on that and it will take you here. You want to take about two jewels. You want to save some. And then it will take 24 of your one. And you want to supply that. Go back. 
Now over here we have a zero liquidity deposit. Let's deposit some. We got the six. Let's go ahead and deposit maximum amount of it. Once we've done this, we are officially farmers. This is crypto farming and this is or or yield farming is the technical term for it. And this is how you make passive income getting into cryptos and NFTs and all that other stuff. This is a way to make money on it. Alright? So we're gonna leave that there. Alright, cool. You see you made your deposit, it showed you an unlock rewards. That's the amount you're making, and then it showed you your lock rewards. And that's the one you're gonna get to later on when the game fully rolls out by July 2022. Alright? So we're gonna leave our garden here, let our crops plant, and we're just gonna be making money on the side. Let's go to the bank. Let's go to the bank, man. We in the bank. I see how the bank looking. It's pretty big. It's a lot of money in here. They're not playing. You want to click on the teller. And this is where you can deposit your loose jewel. And make some money. And what this is is called staking jewel. Right? This is another way to kind of make passive income. Specifically with the native token. You'll stake it in here. Um, you have 9.6. I don't want to use the bank because I feel like to, for me... The bank is only beneficial when you have a lot of loose jewels just hanging around and it builds an APR rate right here. For every stake jewel, it's 1.5 jewel. So the more jewel that you stake, the more 1.5 <laughs> jewel you're making, right? It's pretty dope. I stick to the garden, right? Let's go to the tavern. The tavern now is a special place because this is where you can get involved into the things that it's called NFTs, you know? NFTs are just short for non-fungible tokens. The representation, I guess, of the transactions that are happening on this blockchain constantly. And DeFi Kingdoms is really cool because it's, it's able to create gamified NFT representations, such as heroes. So when you go here, as you can see, it's called the NFT agent. You can buy heroes, you can sell heroes, and you can list them for hire. These are what they look like. Kind of resemble like anything from Pokemon cards to Yu-Gi-Oh cards and stuff like that. You can flip through them, and they have different stats. They have different rarities. And all of this contribute to the value, you know, of the NFTs in this marketplace. Okay, so we're back at Sir Steak a lot. Man, I know the last video we was looking real down bad, man. Like, I gave away my rare card for free. My Gen 1 or my Uncommon for free. I know. But we bounced back from it. And when you go to sell, you see, we got a rare hero on the market. So right now... I own this NFT here and it's in the market for 230 jewels. This is where you'll go in DeFi Kingdoms if you know you have the bucks to start swimming like a whale and exchanging NFTs. This is where you'll go. The next place you'll go to is the portal. Now, if you collect in heroes and you are very bullish on DeFi Kingdoms and you mess with it a lot, and you got yourself a lot of heroes, you got yourself a lot of jewels, and just money to blow, you wanna collect tears, right? I'll show you how to collect tears, but let's focus on what the portal is for. You'll go here and you'll obtain crystals, you'll infuse them, you'll add your hero here, you can see the rare, and you'll need 10 tears, and then you'll hire a hero or add your hero, right? And hiring is a different market for the NFTs. Instead of selling them and losing complete ownership of each of your NFTs, you can list them for hire and people will use them for summonings to summon other heroes for a small renting price of jewel. You'll do that here, you'll summon a hero, and boom, you would have created a 
another NFT that you can put back in the market or that you can just add to your collection, right? Professions. The thing about these cards, um, they each have stats that they are specialized in. Minor for being an example. And the game is not yet came out with, but they're going to come out with quests that you can do for each of them. Gardener, Forager, Fisher. And it can earn you potentially Jewel. And right now, there's a quest out. So there's a little Easter egg here on the map. And if you click on the Wishing Well right here, you can do this quest right here where you select your hero. This specific quest allows you to earn tears. So as you can see, I earned right here. And you, and you earn at least one XP every time. So, boom. Let me show you guys really quickly. So if you get really deep into D5, you start earning tears, you can go back to the trader and you see you can swap your tears for more jewel. And that's really the starter kit of D5 Kingdoms. That's basically everything that can be done at the moment. Uh, if I'm missing anything, just shoot it in a comment. But let me give you guys another tip of what I think would be helpful with D5 Kingdoms. Another thing that I think is very important when it comes to getting into crypto is charting. You want to make sure you know the price of what you're getting into. And you want to make sure you know the highs and lows and how it looks on the chart. Just so that you can profit like to the maximum. That's the main token. That's what Harmony One blockchain represents. It's what it runs on. And this is basically what you're investing into when you're investing into D5 Kingdoms, right? Tears. Tears is what I was just showing you um, in the game that you can also make money from. And it's just crazy with tears for me because if you want to go ahead and go on a seven day, I didn't do that for one. Look where tears came from. Tears came from $25 to now being worth only two dollars and that's because that quest just came out right on the map right and this is just some sauce i'm showing y'all that's because this quest right here came out on the map so it made the demand for tears like lower than the supply tears was just being produced by the minute you saw i just got two of them right so it's only worth two dollars um and now Jewel. Jewel is worth $3.95. Man, Jewel is just crazy. And I believe so much in Jewel. If we look at the seven day, um, no, 14 day, right? Look where Jewel came from. Jewel was at $5.62. Right now it's at $3. I, don't, I think it's discount, you know? Like collect as much Jewel as can if you're getting into D5 because it's going to potentially go back to 5 and higher, right? The game's just going to get better. Harmony 1 is going to get better. Uh, and that's what I think is very helpful to this game and it's definitely useful and for your success. Alright, so that basically sums up the tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something and hit that like button subscribe and let's take this all to the moon right